Hello friends! In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these OG bloomer shorts. So to start, you're going to need your waist measurement, desired inseam, leg circumference, and waist height. Keep in mind that the waist height is without the waistband. On some paper, start by measuring out the waist circumference across the top. I started with twice my waist measurement, but the poofiness is up to you. I measured about two inches or so down, then traced a pair of shorts. I traced the front on one end and the back on the other. And then I went over that with Sharpie so it would actually show up on camera. From the bottom of the curve, measure down your desired inseam plus half an inch for seam allowance. And you should actually make it the same length on both sides and connect them. Then I decided I didn't want my shorts quite that poofy, so I just untaped and slid over the paper. And then cut it out. This is the fabric I use for these shorts. I'll leave a link to where I got them down in the description. So next, you're going to lay your fabric out, fold it over, and pin down your pattern, then cut out two pieces. Next, you'll need to cut out two leg cuffs. To do this, you'll need two rectangles that are your leg circumference plus an inch long and five inches wide. You'll also need to cut out a waistband. This will be your waist plus one inch long by twice your desired width plus an inch. For reference, mine was eight inches total, which made the finish size three and a half inches. Next, line up the two main pieces and pin the curved edges together then sew them together with a straight stitch. And then I trimmed the legs down to the right length all the way around. But if you didn't mess up like I did, you won't actually need to do this. Next, I put an invisible zipper along the back center seam. Basically, I laid the zipper along the seam and sewed it down, then unstitched the seam.
Your next step is to sew a long basting stitch across the waistline of the shorts. Do not backstitch either end. Gather the waist of the shorts down to the right size and tie it off. And then do the same thing with the leg openings. So to add the waistband, fold the waistband strip under half an inch and pin it to the inside of the shorts so that the raw edge of the waistband is lined up with the raw edge of the shorts. Go all the way around, pinning the waistband to the inside of the shorts. Then stitch the waistband down with a straight stitch. Next, fold under the raw edge, then fold the waistband in half and pin it down. I also fold it under the ends. Go around and top stitch close to the edge. After that, sew the leg cuffs into loop. And then sew on the leg cuffs the same way as the waistband. And here's what they look like so far. Lastly, you'll need to add a hook and eye closure. Put your shorts on and mark where the closure should be attached. Then hand stitch the closure onto the back opening. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and consider subscribing for more. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in the future and I'll be back soon.